And I think he's going to do that too. But yes, one thing another big left hook. Mick. Gaddy's been all over the scale, 130, 135, up to 140. I think he may finally be fighting Emmanuel at his most effective weight. Yes, dangerous, but from that left hook that Gaddy land, landed earlier. Gaddy's looking very good. His troop is punching. And Joe Souza, you don't normally hear those names in the pre-fight on camera, but it was necessary tonight. That's right. And if well, any fight in which Arturo doesn't lead is an upset. Arturo. Look at the combinations, though, from Gaddy. The fighters who have customarily give Gaddy trouble have jabs. Evan Robinson and Angel Manfredi, he was beaten to the jab. Ward walks in without jabbing. That's perfect for Gaddy. Everything very natural. Everything is flowing smoothly. Mixing up his punches very well. having problems with the you've got too much power for mickey he's not used to facing power like yours speed more than the power the speed and, and he's shooting uppercuts a variety of things My body God, punches. numbers are through 70 punches in round one he's not staying there long enough to get hit in return now ward is doing exactly what he should do now he's closing the distance now that makes it very difficult for ward the distance He's going to have to get very, very close to Gaddy if he's got any chance to pull in this fight off. And he's going to have to trust that Al Gaddy can keep the cut under control and keep him in the fight even as he presses both. Yes, he does. Good cut man takes two rounds before the blood really coagulates. Hard left hook by Artura Gaddy. Trying to faint his way inside. He's going to have to stay much, just as he's doing now, he's going to have to continue to do that, to stay close. He has to do more of that. If he's going to be there in the second There's half another of the one. fight. He just landed his second and good left near the body. Gaddy's people have been most concerned about is just this kind of stuff that will keep Ward in the fight long enough to if he bust he, up yeah. Gaddy. Here comes the Lowell, Massachusetts contingent rising to the occasion for their fighter. Yeah. And here's yeah. Gaddy with some of that. I'll give it yeah. to him in the body medicine. Now the fight has turned out to be what we expected. To slow Gaddy down a little bit. And now he's trying to slow Ward down with body punches, too. Good sharp left hook upstairs by Gaddy. Uppercuts for Arturo. Fast hands. Ward's cut opening again. Ward has got to keep it in tight like that. It's the two fighters, by CompuBox estimate, landed a combined 53 power shots. They're nice ring generalship. It's a big ring, probably something like 22 feet. He died beginning to swell. No blood yet. That's because of those high cheekbones that he has. Oh, good right, right hand. Good right hand. Good right hand. Oh. Good right hand. And Gaddy good right hand. Hand. And he hurt him with that right hand, too. Gaddy trying to clear his head. Comes back with his own punches. Going to resort back to what he's been doing most of his career, and that's to punch. Gaddy to the body. Gaddy with uppercut. Good right hand. This is good stuff. But we saw Ward in those type of fights. You remember the fight with Emmanuel Burton, so this is just one of his normal fights. Fight of the year for 2001. Ward Burton broke a lot of oh, my God. oh, that's another right hand bomb by Mickey Ward. Gaddy takes this one a little better, but he's been rocked in this round. Oh, big left hook by Ward. Big left hook by Gaddy. 35 year old Ward averaged 118 punches around. Coming back with a beautiful short right hand. That's what his most effective punch tonight has been the right hand now, more so than the body punch. Oh, oh what a body shot. Oh, oh, magnificent left to the body. Was it low? Was it low? I thought it was a little bit low. And Frank Cappuccino thought so too. And he's going to rule no knockdown. And he's taking a point away from Gaddy. One minute rest period. Let's take a look and see if the blow was low. Yes, it was. Yep. That's how we saw it. Arturo Gatti's skillful efforts to make it a boxing match in the early rounds. Oh, look at the granite in Ward's chin as he takes three plus power shots. But I 
at this stage, I would still have Gaddy with him, but it looks very promising for Mickey. Gentlemen, in the fifth round, they landed 98 punches. So the pace slows slightly here in round six. This is dangerous as a left hook to the body is at this point in the fight. Oh, what a haymaker by Gaddy. And Ward just comes right back. Ward says, I'll walk with you over here. because most of the time Gaddy tries to avoid the right by going down. And Gaddy is fighting a good round here. He's winning this round big. He's he's gone back to some movement, throwing combinations, trying to move away. Uh, Gaddy, we're looking at here. Yep, taking it to another step. And, and Joe Souza did such great work that I see no blood on Gaddy's right eye. Okay, Jim, four rounds to two, 57-56, Arturo Gatti. Because sometimes what you do in the last 30 seconds is just an accumulation of what you've done in the first two and a half minutes. But Gatti by only one point. I have Gatti ahead, four, one, and one even. And you heard the impassioned speech between rounds by Buddy McGirt. Well, another right hand again, and it comes right back. Big yeah. counter left hook by Gatti there. Just totally amazing to me. And those wars you saw in the ring, he had some equally vicious wars with the champagne bottle and the nightlife oh, on yes. the circuit in New Jersey. In an amateur, he was a boxer. Early in his pro career, he was a brawler. To see him still in the ring at the age of 30. He's got a manager I named Pat Lynch who's been as loyal and steadfast as any manager in boxing can be with Arturo Gatti. He but even with all of that, there's something unusually physically in this man for this man to take all of this. He's just one of those gifted guys like Yvonne Durrell. He just run across guys like that sometimes. There's that right hand again. About Gaddy because right. he hasn't yeah. been in this kind of a war with as a strong a fighter as Ward before. That body shot again. That's the body shot. It's the left hook to the body. Ward's money punch, and this knockdown counts. And he is hurt. This is and and Ward is tied. Ward and here comes Gaddy back. Less than ten seconds in the round. Gaddy's gonna survive the round. What's your scorecard? Okay, Jim, 85, 84, Mickey won. I think that it's pulled ahead with that shot that knocked Arturo Gatti down. He certainly runs for the eighth round, so I got Mickey won up by a point. Interestingly enough, this round is 30 seconds short because that timekeeper never stopped the damn clock at the beginning of the round. But does Gatti have a full two minutes left in the tank? I'm pretty sure Ward does. Ward looks hurt now. Yeah.